Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day since my previous one was pretty glam. I wanted to keep it a little simple so I have just added a smoky wink liner which is so very easy to do. I know most of you guys do not want to go like all out on Valentine's Day. You want to look more natural, more glowy and more romantic basically. So this is my version on it. I hope you guys enjoy it and if you want to know how I achieve this look, please keep watching. So guys, we are going to start with priming our eyes and for that I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. You all can use any concealer that you have and I'm just going to blend it out with my YBB Beauty Blender. And once that is done, I'm going to set my concealer with a powder. You all can use any powder foundation or a compact or a setting powder that you have. This is a very important step to not forget to set your concealer once you've primed your eyes. So today I'm going to be using a tape as a guideline. This is going to give you a very sharp wing liner and you won't be able to mess up your wing. So you want to make sure that the tape is in line with the tip of your nose, to the corner of your eye and to the end of your eyebrow. I'm going to be starting off with a base for our eyeliner. For that I'm using a cream based eyeshadow. This is the one from Maybelline. This is called as a color tattoo in the shade pomegranate punk and I'm going to be roughly drawing the shape of our winged liner. So you do not have to be very precise with this because any which ways our eyeliner is going to be very messy. It's not going to be perfect so you do not have to worry about that and it just makes your job very very easy. By the way, y'all can use this technique for applying any color wing liner. I personally wanted to go for a very plum colored winged liner. Y'all can do a blue, y'all can do a black, y'all can do a brown, anything that you wish to do. So now that we have laid our base, I'm just going to take this plum colored eyeshadow from this NYX Ultimate palette and I'm going to be layering that on top of the base that we've applied and with a pencil brush, I'm just going to smudge it a little bit upwards. So this is going to give you a very soft wing. Voila, your eyeshadow and your wing liner is absolutely done. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Now we are just gonna apply a little bit of mascara on our top and bottom lashes. Now we are gonna move on to the rest of our face and I'm gonna start by priming and for primer I'm using my Maybelline Master Prime and apply it all over my face. So once that is done, we are going to move on to our foundation and for foundation today, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match foundation and I think I've used this foundation after such a long time and oh my god, this is absolutely beautiful. It looks so healthy, so glowy and so very natural on my face. You guys should totally try this one out. And I'm going to blend everything out with my YBP sponge. You guys know the drill. I do this every single time in every single of my videos. So I'm not going to bore you all with this and I'm going to fast forward it. And then I'm applying my concealer wherever I normally do, that is under my eyes in a triangular region, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my chin. And after that is done, I'm just going to blend everything out with my YBB Makeup Perfector. And then to set the entire base, I'm going to be using my Ben Nye Luxury Powder. I'm first going to bake under my eyes or wherever I have applied my concealer and then also going to set my entire face with the same powder. So I like to set my entire face with the Beauty Blender itself because that helps me lock the foundation. And once that is done, I'm just going to take my brush and brush off the excess product on my face. Here I'm just applying mascara on my bottom lashes and once that is done I'm just taking this Lakme Iconic White Kajal and applying it in my low waterline. Now what this is going to do is going to make your eyes look much more wide awake and brighter and big. For contouring today I'm using this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. Oh my god I love this color for contouring for chiseling out my cheekbones and shaping my nose as well. So this particular shade is only going to suit skin tones which are my shade and a little fairer than me like fairer skin tones than me darker skin tones than me cannot use this powder because this is just not going to show up on their face 
So I'm just contouring on my usual areas that is the hollows of my cheeks, the bridge of my nose and also under my lips so that they look a little bit more pouted. So contouring today I'm using a new product. This is by Pack. This is the contouring refill. Oh my god I was so pleasantly surprised by this. I normally like my bronzers to be more on the orangey side and they, that gives me a very like tan looking skin but this one is the perfect bronzing shade it is so subtle so natural it just gives your face such a beautiful dimension i absolutely love it you guys should totally try the pack contouring refills they are amazing so i'm applying my bronzer on my usual areas that is the hollows of my cheeks a little bit on my forehead a little bit on my jawline for blusher today I'm using this essence blush in the shade heat wave this is more of a summery color but I absolutely love this and I wanted to use this on my face today so I applied it it doesn't matter what season it is I love the color I'm gonna apply it and then I'm gonna blend everything out with my stippling brush now what this does basically is makes your entire bronzing contouring and blusher look much more natural and well blended and very very subtle for highlighter today I'm using this Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip. I have used so many new products in this entire tutorial and this highlighter blew me away. It gave me such a healthy glow, such a beautiful highlight. Y'all can see how beautiful it looks. So I'm highlighting on my usual areas that is the tops of my cheekbones, a little bit in my brow bone region and a little bit in the C region near my forehead. So when the light hits your face, you get that glow. I'm also highlighting the bridge of my nose and also my cupid's bow as well and then using my eyeshadow brush and these three highlight shades right here. I'm applying this right in my inner corners to give that pop to my eye. And then to lock everything that we've applied on our face, I'm using this setting spray by Gerard Cosmetics. This is this Lee All Day setting spray in the flavor peach and this just just completes my entire look i cannot go without a setting spray and then finally a lipstick for that i'm using this bh cosmetic lipstick in the shade endora i wanted to keep the lipstick very girly very pink so that is the reason i used this shade and i absolutely love this color it is so very girly so beautiful so feminine totally love it that guys completes the entire look i hope you guys understood what i explained in this tutorial and you all learned how to get this entire makeup look and you all do try it out and if you all do please don't forget to tag me in your photos and if you all do like the tutorial the makeup look that i came up with please don't forget to give it a thumbs up to this video and also don't forget to comment in the comment box below letting me know what videos you all would like to see in the future so that i can do it for you guys so yeah that's it for this video i love you guys and i'll see y'all in my next one very soon until then bye